Hey, hello. I'm gonna start with apologies uh, that it took so long. I basically messed up literally everything and had to redo it. And then also I was like, ooh, but what if I like redo the overlay last minute? Uh, so apologies for the late start. I am going to unmute for our guests. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Oh, look at that. Can I, can I just say how much I absolutely love the fact that I wink when I talk? <laughs> <laughs> Flawless. Perfect. Yeah, this is looking fantastic. I am satisfied, and yet I still, I still want to make adjustments, but overall, it's for now. If yeah. I like, hyper-fixate on everything, nothing will get done, as we have learned. Absolutely. Oh my god, Larry, do you have to talk? Please. What should I say? I love him so much! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi! This is the cutest thing on the planet. Yeah, I kind of just want to, like, keep him in the airship and protect him forever. <laughs> just, just make sure he's a safe small boy. Small safe boy. Small safe boy. Must protect. Okay, um, I'm just gonna kind of jump right into it, if that's okay with everybody. Um, Does please everybody want to? Yeah, introduce yeah. your characters. I'm going to uh, fade from here and mute myself, but uh, I'll be here. So, um, this is the today we are doing the inaugural launch of the. The HDL Wonder puts his airship, which we haven't named, which we were just talking about the fact that we haven't named this thing yet. Maybe it'll get a name after this game or during this game at some point, but it doesn't have a name. Um, like a pilot earning their call sign. Right. And these are our four officers that are part of the airship crew. They are setting off on their maiden voyages. None of these characters... Well, Laura has been around but she's never actually like played i've existed so. yeah you've existed Loosely. but like the character's <laughs> never been seen in game and three of them didn't exist last season so they just signed on for the airship so um guys go ahead and introduce your characters and then we will get started all Whoever right i'll get started <laughs> all right I am uh, Nicole Trafford, as previously mentioned. Uh, I am one of the newest officers here. Um, I'm very good at piloting, decent at finding stuff, taking stuff, although keep that under your hat. And I think that's all about all I need to say right now. Do we want to go in order and just Vatna next? Okay. I am Vetna Stein Plus. I am the navigational officer on board the airship, involving both the physical and metaphysical uh, currents of the world. Uh, I am also one of the newest officers. And excellent. And lore? Is it bad? I'm so tired. I can't remember what we discussed. My actual. You are the anthropologist of the ship. I guess now you are going to go to other worlds and like figure out their society. Their society and, you know, the things that maybe didn't belong there. Exactly. Or reacquisitions. Excellent. So. And then Raz is the last character? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm R Rashida Ernoff. People just call me Raz because it's a lot shorter. Uh, I am in charge of categorizations and... That's about it. Okay. So, the inaugural thing is, like, last night, everybody was getting blasted at the bar because uh, that is what 
canonically the last night was. It was the Companion's Tale game that we played last week is the night before this event. There's a reporter here, like, documenting everything for posterity. Everybody, like, the whole crew's out, and it's late at night. And the the leader of the otters, the nomadic otters from last season, her name is Noelle, comes out, and she has a giant um, telescope and points it towards the sky. And she's like, that is your target. And you can see just there, there's a constellation that vaguely looks like an otter holding a stone. But legend has it that when the clouds come in, this place becomes much closer. So... Which place becomes closer? That that moon feels much closer. It has same resonance as the moon in the Silken Towers, the one that they have on top of a ziggurat. Last season, that moon had fallen into the ocean, and that's what was causing the rifts to just open randomly all over the world. Like, it has a certain resonance, a certain sound. It's basically playing a song that nobody understands. How have we been studying that since? You, you definitely have been studying that, yes. And it matches the resonance of this moon, uh, this object in the sky. And if but I'm then, remembering correctly, we just banished that moon to someplace else. You no, that was that was the that was a bad guy moon. That moon wasn't a moon. That was a monster. Oh. You put the moon back on top of a ziggurat, and it doesn't open any rifts anymore, unless it's in the middle of a downpour. But it would have to be so, raining so hard, and it doesn't really do that much. Are we taking the airship to the moon? That is the plan. Noel says that. Um, as far as the legend goes, that tonight is the perfect night for a uh, perfect night that it should open a rift. If that is what is happening up there, and you have no reason not to, and you have an airship now, and this seems like the perfect test. I assume everybody agrees. I pray everybody agrees, or else we're going to play a completely seems different like a game. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, Vatna gets right on charting a course to get to the moon. Excellent. All so right, the, all right. So the cloud. Um, the clouds start coming in as the weather changes. And you can see, um, Vatna can, Vatna, in your, like, antennas you feel it like you feel that there is a rift opening above you mm -hmm. as a uh, as i'm like feeling this intense energy um my eyes kind of look like this uh scintillating like oil rainbow puddle like what you know in an oil puddle when like the you see the reflection it's all rainbowy oh absolutely yeah my eyes look like that okay so i'm going to assume everybody is boarding up the ship ready to get going absolutely yes yes is the yep. otter, otter coming with us uh noel will not be coming with you noel has a uh pretty solid fear of them. You could try to convince her if you would like. Uh, this this is a great opportunity to uh, to uh, see what uh, what that otter is holding holding this stone. Okay, um, give me a 20-sider. Let's see if you can convince she's like really trepid and she's just like not feeling it. Hmm? Mixed That's a 15. Uh, so hey, that's a success. So she's just like, she's still very nervous. But Noelle will hop on your ship. We have a very yeah. capable crew and we'll make sure all is safe to return. We're she's all professionals just, here. It's like, I, it, like, 
You guys haven't really let me down before, but some of you, some of your tactics might, you know, be a bit dangerous. But if you guys can promise that I'll be safe. Um. Oh, what was I gonna say? Um, Vatna will. Uh, since she's a, we are escorting a civilian. Uh, Vatna will uh, use the invoker ability shield on her. That'll absorb three damage, in case. Oh, absolutely. Uh, she she feels much better about that. She's like, okay, I, thank you. Um, my scribe is gonna come with me if you don't mind. And her scribe is a little owl, and not owl person, a little um, moth person. His name is Cree. Oh, not, I'm sorry. I've been saying Noelle. Her name is Tincture. I'm sorry. I've been saying Tincture. Noelle. Tincture. Tincture and Cree. C R E E. Okay. Cree will also get a shield. Keep them both safe. I was not expecting, expecting Tincture and Cree to be part of this one, but. Here we go. <laughs> they were going to do stuff somewhere else. And Kree is like a little white, fl super fluffy moth. Um, much small, even smaller than Batna because they're not player characters. They're about two feet tall. Hmm. I have. Uh, um, do they look similar? Uh, they look similar to the old, um, uh, to the, uh, yeah, I will put the old Moffat. Yes. I'll put them on the screen. Here is. These have joined the party for right now. I'm sorry, oh. Mika. Sorry. So yeah, um, everybody boards up on the ship, and I will just move you guys. So. We are just going to go through the, um, I would need the navigator to make us a 20 sided die roll of all just to see how well you guys get up into the air and how successful the ship is. And like okay. entering the rift. If anybody has any abilities or anything that they would like to add to the roll, by all means, please. Um, yeah, I'm just going to roll it raw. Oh, Boom, so not 20. Now, yeah, you, you're in there. Not a single thing. You guys make it like it's been mapped out. You guide um, Nicole pours perfectly through the through this opening. And now you are in... You'll have to excuse how weird this map looks. Perfect. This gives me Stargate SG-1 Oops, vibes. Really? I love it. Got boons. So yeah, you'll get a bonus if yeah. Um, that should have had a timer on it. I could have sworn to put a timer on that. Okay, yeah. So any science holes? All right. Let me explain what everybody what you are seeing through here. Like you are in a vast tunnel, and. You, while well, you can see the tunnel, you can see through the tunnel, if that make, if you understand what I'm saying. Like, you know it's there, and on the outside, it looks like water, but super viscous rainbow, like the oil that um, Vatna, Vatna's eyes turned into earlier, the oil's like sheen. That is what it looks like out there. It's constantly fluctuating, and with a 20, I'm gonna give it, give it to you, that you see slender um roots coming from 
the place that you are on uh, the the liminal plane like it looks like it's coming forming out of the atmosphere or what an atmosphere would be in our world and they just like continue like they're very fresh very like supple green tendrily vines like going out into the world and as you are going it's just like and it's beautiful and if you have any questions please go ahead and ask right now before like the next step happens are there any vines long enough to reach the ship um you could probably steer your ship close enough to them to like collect a sample if you would like but it's not like they're, they're not threatening it the ship and it's not they're not moving right now they are not growing as you watch if that was the question Sample. Mm. Others may like to study, but that is not our mission. We have a job. We stick to the job. All right. Sounds good. All right, yeah, I'll keep it keep it steady. So as you are like done. You see the moon, or you see the object that you're aiming for in the distance. It's still quite a ways off. It is radiating a pale blue light as you, like, stare at it. And Tincture is locked, rapt attention, staring forward. Like, she can't believe that she is on the ship to this. And as you slowly approach, you hear what can only be described as the loudest basiest music that you've ever experienced. Like, the whole ship is shaking. It's... It's like you took the giant-ass speakers and put them just face down on your floor and cranked the bass all the way up. And suddenly, you just hear a cracking as though the, dem the world is ripping apart as a ship collides with the side of the the hallway, the like rift thing that you're in, it just comes blasting through. It's like through, like perpendicular to the tunnel. Or... Yeah, perpendicular to the tunnel, but then getting into the tunnel and going the way that the uh, that that you are. So you are like right behind. Nowhere. Oh man. And then of course, because nothing's easy. Nothing is ever easy. You see a much larger ship appear behind it, and through that ship comes a uh, comes a commanding voice. And this voice would be <laughs> Commander Joust. <laughs> oh, you know it's almost too easy. Forgive me, I'm getting ahead of myself. Perhaps we should do this by the book. I am Commander Joust. Attention, all degenerate scum aboard the piece of space trash you call a ship. You will cease your criminal activity and surrender at once. Failure to comply will result in an escalation of violence, the likes of which generations from now will feel the very tremors. <laughs> Then you this hear. It's all sounding visually familiar. And then out of the ship, the one that like comes flying by. You are basically like caught in its draft. You know what I mean? Like your ship is spinning out of control. Um, please, uh, Professor Winter, roll me a twenty sider. Oh. Oh, that's very very good roll. Um. Cool, gets it completely under control. Uh, gets the ship back under control. Do we uh, have any way of responding back? Absolutely. Like you guys, your communicators will um will work. Like you're hearing him through your 
standard communicators. Like, he's hot-wired you, um... You there, in the ship! Not the jewels! Stand down immediately! We're commandeering your vessel as part of this... Well, let's just say escort mission. You'll follow us and proceed to capture the jewels ahead of me. Failure to comply? Well, need I repeat myself? <laughs> it's from and the... there's the ore. Right. Well, Vatna's flying. I think he's kind of looking around, seeing if like anyone's like actually in charge here. <laughs> in the in the large ship, um. You can probably see through like a giant like like cockpit window, space window. Point for what? I set those up. I could have sworn I did. Oh, maybe like different packs. So twist of fate is a twenty is a one, and a one is a twenty. And coin flip is. The 20 is a 1 and 1 is. Yeah. Uh, and coin flip is 1 is a 20, 2 is a 1. And then reversed. Yeah, and then reversed. So you guys no, want. Reversed. That is reversed. Yeah. Can we just wanna... like start throwing like. I don't know, spitballs at a target? Yes, you certainly can. Um, Let me, let me introduce you to the pilot of the jewels here. Like. Over the mic, it's just like, hey, um, and you just hear this like booming voice coming through, and it's just like, you guys know me, okay? Everybody, you guys are good. Uh, you don't like the Starlight Group, right? I mean, and if you guys don't remember, the Starlight Group is the group that does want to take. Well, wants to kill you guys because you blew up one of their ships. This is K. KM. You guys can see the cool, like, picture of him down there. And he's just like, <laughs> if you guys could just do me a favor and not try to capture us, that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, and then there's another one. And you just hear machine gun fire coming out of, like, you know the Millennium Falcons, like, laser things that Chewbacca uses? You hear, yes. um, on the side of the ship, you just see somebody just firing off one of those, and he's this little, like, guy, and, and he's just screaming, get some. Who's he shooting at? He's shooting at the, um, the Starlight Brigade. Um... Which side are we on here? I say to my fellow officers. I didn't I want to say learn this part. We have an option. We always have an option. True, we could have two pe two groups shooting at us instead of one. That's fair. Um, I wonder who, uh, 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 communicate with the, with the jewel. I want to say, uh, uh, how long have you been running from these guys? It's just like, oh, a little while, a little while, you know, uh, years? Drones, one and two. Flank the ship we've commandeered. Pursue the jewels. Initiate orbital cannons. We'll be firing shortly. Okay, so on it, on each side of you, you have you have been pincered by these drones, and and again, you are still flying straight for this moon. Um, and the the what menacing looking like starlight ships are they are looking like they are taking you they're getting ready to like commandeer your ship Oops. 
Oh, season one card. All right, so as... This is really fun because me and Nika talked about this earlier. As the ships get closer, you notice the hole that was ripped open starts letting in a large number of old friends. Oh, no. Let's just move us to is it this one. Yeah, okay. We're going to move over to this one. So, being sucked into this space are just countless red caps. Uh, Commander Joust, you notice some hostile life around your ship as well. They are attacking everybody. You idiots! Do you not understand how fragile this ecosystem is? Look what you've done! All crew members, on deck! Prepare cannons! Fire! I'm going to roll a 20-sider for him to see how effective that was. Firing at the red caps or firing at the jewel and the red caps? Anything that moves. Oh, fuck. All right. So, all ships take two damage. All the red caps and all the ships, including yours. Like, your airship has been, like, shot. Your airship has 10 HP, by the way. In case you're wondering. Oof. <laughs> oh shit, that's right. I was, there was supposed to be heads or tails, Commander. right? Damn it. No, that's even worse. Oh, okay, excellent. So, uh, Commander, Je you have the red cap behind you does like, what's that? All right. So I'm going to go with this one. All right. So there's a lot of cards happening. All right. So this, this is red not cap a good situation. The red cap between the ships. Like the right behind you, right behind you, you see the not the big, oh, yeah, the biggest red cap you guys have ever seen has like uh. joined the like as the starlight fires their weapons, which are now down apparently. It's like I just picture them like. Full alpha strike, and this it immediately overloads their system. Right, they blow up one of the, the first red cap, just blows up into a like mist of blood, and another red cap just devours all of that blood, and will just one quick go, just basically like Capri suns it up. And now you have a giant red cap between you and the and we should, and the jewel is fucking just firing at them like crazy. We need to make this ship goes faster. I could have sworn I had. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. It's because multiple. Okay. Really? Weird. Alright, so pride means you guys get a plus two to all the rolls. If the roll ends up. Less than a 10, all players lose 4 HP, and the effect ends. So, because we have the coin flip thing, if any of you roll a 2, everybody takes 4 damage. And that means everybody. You people in the chat, you're the crew of this of the airship right now. So, for this mission. So, get ready for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So what does everybody want to do? Commander Joust's weapons are down, but he has managed to explode one of the red caps in the mm -hmm. process. I want to make the ship go faster. And how would you like to do that? Right. 
Yeah. I um. Can we increase power to whatever? What is our like primary mode of locomotion? Is it a propeller ship or solar wind? It is. Um, it's closest to solar wind. And your sails are made of silver, and they do allow you to ride the current of. Okay. Um, are we full sail already? I don't think you're full sail. I imagine you could probably go a bit faster. Uh, I call out, uh, full sails, please. All right, on it. Drones, as many as we have, now I'm follow going to them. Full sail and. <laughs> I added the snipe. And I'm also going to gonna try um... to move the ship so it's. Go ahead, guys. Okay, I, I was going to try to move the ship a bit more like 3D, so we're not in like a direct crossfire with the legend. Uh, and yeah, once I get and start by trying to get in position there, so I so I can at least plan something else here. I want to see if there are like any strong currents that we could ride in this place. To get an extra boost. Sure. Um. One of you two is gonna have to roll me a two-sided die and hope that you get a one. No wait. Yeah. Go for it, Noel. Nicole. Oh, I mm -hmm. I, I, I heard Noel. Sorry. No. Not yet. Thought I said Dude. Nicole. One, yeah. So there's a two. <laughs> Wait, that becomes a twenty though, right? Well, I'm actually about that. And then it gets reversed into a one. I'm also uh, just tried playing something here. I, I, yeah, that'll be fine. But like making it a twenty, I'm gonna just stick to what the spirit of the card. Yeah is like make it a perfect success so yeah you guys catch some really good headwind or however you call it in this and you are just shooting towards the moon even faster and i'm gonna say you just blow even you blow right past the jewels and the, but they're trying to stay right on your tails as all of these drones are starting to get like lost in the the mess stay on them i gave you one order Follow them! If we can take their power source, we can get our weapons back online faster! You idiots! Ugh. I almost lost my composure there for a moment. Now, proceed as ordered. Please. Did Zach just play another Monster Madness? Zach. Yeah. Yes. Zach. Yes. Zach. Yes. Um. Oh no, Commander Joust, your ship is being grabbed. I, I'm like, are, it should be a one, but making it a twenty. But the spirit of a twenty is to make something a perfect success, and we count it as a perfect success even if the game doesn't have a twenty-sided die because it is just a triumph. So I'm gonna let that ride as a perfect success, even though like if you rolled a twenty. It would be a one. You understand? It's just because it was a card. And that's why I'm going to let it like be. But inside Commander Joust ship, and like, let's let's go inside the ship real quick. Because we can. Uh, like and I, I would, the, the body's And I would like to uh, communicate to Commander Joust. This is a private vessel. We have rights that you're violating. Now honor crosses your mind. And here I thought that was a word that evaded your lexicon entirely. Well, I stand correct. I will follow the law to a T. And right now I am enforcing it 
to that team. You are endangering everything with your presence here. You must leave immediately. You can do that by coming with us or exiting the same way you came, which I don't think you know how to do. So, that makes your options a bit limited, don't you think? Uh, cut off the link to discuss. We could turn around. We have a job to do, though. We did not anticipate this. Yes. And... Also, at this point, turning around would have us oh, flying directly back something that happens through often. the red caps. Yeah. Is the... Um, Starlight also, ship... Is the Starlight ship... Um, Alan is... It also in the the tunnel stream. Yeah, it's in the it. It is now in the, all of you are in the tunnel stream, including these red caps. Uh, I see. But, um, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna give you a little bit of information because you guys have been rolling pretty well. Uh, you do see some little red caps, not these big ones that are attached to the ship, going the other way in this tunnel. Oh, so like, back the way we came? Yeah, back the way you guys came. Um. You have ten seconds to comply. I kind of just, I just shake my head to the crew and uh, point forward. And then give a shrug. Two... What? The um the weapons are back online now. Uh, if you guys would like to, just fucking just go for it. Just another roll. Like, I s- I think we gotta go for it. Actually, what I would like to do. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for it. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to try. Not sure if I can. I'm going to try to use scale and create like this big vortex basically between us slash the legend and everyone else there. So like the us and the legend are on one side, everything else is on the other and try to expand it so they get pushed in opposite directions. Oh, absolutely. I like it. Um, Especially since you can either, you can only fail or win with this. So I would say on a 20, it would definitely get the job done. And on a, um, well, on a one, it's going to be fucking wild, isn't it? So go ahead and flip me that. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'll take those odds. So. <sighs> All right. So everybody gets like everybody gets caught up in this whirlwind. Like, like the space breeze that Vatten has been like so delicately trying to control, like with the sails, which is cl- which are clearly made of Vatna's silk from the cocoon. It just starts like whipping everyone around. General Dust, his ship is like getting fucking. You're all pulled into one big glob of just like the ships are crashing into each other. Everybody takes... This is where the four damage comes from. Like, everybody in the chat, everybody, all of these bosses, all of the drones, everything takes four damage as they all smash together. Let me just grab everything that I need. Okay. So, this... Impossible! Stabilize us! hoping that was fine a little smoother. So, you watch the red cap get smashed between the jewels and the, um, Starlight ship, and just get smushed. Yeah, all of you are taking damage. That's what Pride does. And Pride is a very dangerous card. 
and it gets smashed. You're all covered in like red cap blood. Like everybody on like the airship, not everybody inside a ship. Like inside a spaceship. And then the ship goes down. Like you're moving at an incredible speed. And you crash into this moon. Um, the four damage is gonna last, so the ship has taken six of the ten life that it has. J Commander Joust, you have absolutely none of your, um, little guys left. You're the only one standing in that ship. Ugh. Ugh, you idiots. I gave you one job. This was supposed to be our big payday. Ugh. You, you. I get on the uh, intercom to them. You fools. Do you have any idea how you ruined everything? This was in your best interest. You are messing and completely disrupting a fragile ecosystem the likes of which none of you could ever comprehend. You're like a plague. You're like a pathogen coursing through the very veins of this universe right now. You don't belong. I was trying to help you. <sighs> You see two alien, uh, well, alien creatures to you step out of the duel. Like, as, like, he's going on that speech and just brushing themselves off. So, the first one with the one eye, he is LP, and he walks up to the crew on you guys' ship and she's like, This is gonna take a bit of work. Yeah, yeah, it is. And it's like, then KM is the one that comes up behind him, who is just a I big lover. Like <laughs> and KM is just like, well, man, I guess it worked. So what I, isn't functional on our ship? Um, you, the launching apparatus is like going to be the thing that is down for your ship. And, um, Joust, if you want to get out of your ship, you... By decree of the Starlight Police Force, you are all under arrest. You will obey every one of my commands, and we will repair the only way off of this moon. Now, I suggest you all lay down your weapons and follow my orders. LP, the one with the, the beanie on his head. Also, just kind of like, he's, he's very small. He's like three foot tops. He just like turns his, um, turns around and like points a gun at Joust. He's just like, we, we don't have to do this. Oh, magic life. Oh. So, we don't have to do this. We can all find our way through here just fine, can't we? We can all get along, get everybody get off this place, maybe do a little good. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Our ship oh. has cannons, doesn't it? I would just yeah, like should... to be the one to point out to, to Jess that we weren't the ones who ripped a hole where there shouldn't have been a hole. We know how to nap. We do things by the book. Okay, I was like, that. Okay, I was like, that was my bad. That was my bad. Do I didn't see it. I haven't been in this uh, part of the neighborhood in a while. Like, honestly. Does it trouble you? All the lives that you took that day. Does it trouble you at all to think of all of my comrades that fell by your idiocy you destroyed starlight one and you expect me to work with you Laura, are you a part of that yeah that yeah, that's that's him like the when you guys blew up that ship in that other world that was his commander that you killed commander Riposte but was lord was Laura a part of it it matters not 
right now, as I've stated. You are all under arrest. We will work together under my leadership. I ain't listening to you. Okay, is there a way to uh, angle the ship's weapons onto this guy? Oh, you could definitely give that a shot. Um, but one second here. Um, Trixie played magical item, which is very fun for me because you just see KM like slide to the side of the jewel and like b- uh, pounds his h- hand on the side a couple of times, and it opens up and he's just like he pats his belly and then he pat and then he looks at um. LP is just like, we're not the right size, but a couple of you look like the right size. And what looks like a mech steps out of this ship. And it the is... immediately gets large-eyed as she sees it. I think that's a... And starts getting a little bouncy. I think that's a lore thing right there. Oh. The two that would be the correct size... But without any modifications, would be Lore or um, Nicole, and it looks like an Exo Squad thing. Um, thing. Um, Mech. If you guys don't know that show, I want to drive the robot. That is what it does. I dropped it in the chat. That is the magical item that you guys will have. I will drop it in the chat as well. This was very specifically already planned. It's a large clockwork mech that is magically powered and can be piloted by a single person. This particular one has to be piloted by somebody five foot to six foot. And with the correct number of arms. Without modification, it takes two arms, two legs, five to six feet tall. Uh, Just, just under. Raz is very, very pouty right now. I'm very sorry. But that is the magical item for that can be gotten Are in this game. Are you giving over the lore? Well, would you like it? <laughs> or do you want me to take it? Um, no, no, this one's my treat. Go ahead. Yeah, go for it. Stupid tall people doing all this cool stuff. So, Commander Joust, a fish woman has climbed into a mech in front of you. I feel like you may have lost your edge somewhere. I will, uh, oh, se- I will send all over your to the saber rattling. I don't think you have it in you. However, given the circumstances, it would be foolish for me to continue this fight. So, I propose a truce with conditions. LP is just like, oh, it's conditions when you pull out the guns. Uh, Sorry, continue. We'll work together. We'll pool all of our resources. With my knowledge of the star of our entire organization and your knowledge of um the communities in which you surround yourself with we should be able to make it off this moon now the condition is we lay down all of our weapons all of our weapons Tincture, who is, um, the Tincture and Kree are the two that have taken the least damage because of the shield spell. Like, they've each only taken one. So they're feeling pretty all right. A little butt, a little scraped up, and just like, I, I think that's fair. I think everybody just wants to get home. And it's just like, I don't know you. I don't know them. They seem, uh, dangerous. But th- do you now know where we are? We're we're on the Sky Otter's anvil. Can't you feel it? And as you all look around, 
it is just a desolate moon like you can tell that this place was completely covered with water at one point but it's just dust and like fragments of ice like permafrost ice like the ground it's it's pretty fucking cold but it does have a breathable atmosphere so you guys don't have to stay on your boat to like worry and not die right right the um I'm just gonna give it to you because you got the science caught up and I don't want to make you have to and just get a one that the dust itself on the ground is silvery in nature silver and there are ruins around and other things I'm gonna have you guys are gonna have to make rolls for something wasn't silver like some type of key point in last season? Yeah, um, silver is if your ship is made of silver or some kind of silver alloy, then you can um travel the rifts without worried worrying about like getting sucked into a random one. Uh, Raz would like to start looking around and studying things. Um. <laughs> So I say, go ahead. Um, I say to our crew, uh, I don't trust him to uphold his end of anything, with how authoritative and by the book he seems to be. Eh, I'm not too afraid of him. You misunderstand. I enforce the rules, and I shall follow them to a T. Alan, is the coin thing still up? Which or means... Is it rolled now? You've, you've already you've arrested already us. You're a cop. Which means you've already arrested us, and you're not going to unarrest us. That the is coin a fair thing point. Is still up for another, like, 30 minutes. A right. fair point. Then let me reevaluate the situation. So, Raz is just going to ignore everybody else, put her goggles on, and start, like studying shit. I made um, you the offer for safe passage. And I will uphold that end of the bargain if we can put the differences aside for now. I will agree to turn the other way and allow you back home. However, it still stands. We lay down our weapons. Um, LMP, like you see, you see P uh, holster his gun, and he's just like, down, it's down. Then an uneasy alliance is formed. Mm. Nah, like, I'm not going for my weapons. K, yeah, K leans over. You guys, you guys armed? Yes. Hmm? Good. Vanna will be uh, kind of shifty eyed. Look at the back. Look at K. Look at the. <laughs> Doesn't have any visible weapons. I have two sabers on my hip. <laughs> Just to be clear, we can holster them. We don't have to. Do you want us to actually put I'm them actually down? Going to. Are you dropping your weapons on the ground? L, uh, this is L asking Joust. The one who's with you. One of those two absolute degenerates. If they agree to play fair, then so shall I. The, um, L and K, I mean, L and K just raised their hands. Like, yep, we're good. Now, who knows how to fix a ship? I mean, um, K's gonna start working on the ship. I think Raz would know know something from learning from her father. Alright, so K is gonna be studying, like fixing hit up his ship, and he will also help. 
fix up Jeff's ship, to be polite. It's going to take some time. He doesn't know how to fix you guys' ship, though. Does any, do any of us know how to do that? Like I said, I think Raz would know because her, her dad used to be an engineer. I can handle the sails and stuff. But I still want to search the area. Okay. Um, give me a coin flip. You're looking for a one. I got it. Nailed it. All right. Snap so, 20. Yeah, right? When you're searching, uh, you do see like these runes over here. Oh, sorry. And c- because it is technically a 20. The, you see a root system throughout the place and all of the roots seem almost completely dead. They are coming out of the ground. They seem to be like reaching up into the sky, the direction you came from. But if you touch them, they like most of them will just kind of like turn into um oh did all right there's no two-sided die when you're flipping coins sadly it's all rolls for an hour it probably will get changed in the future um but you do see that the source of the blue light appears to be the um the ruins in over here, the light that you saw in from in the tunnel. Uh, and Tinkshire uh, is very excited to head that direction. Um, is there anything uh, damaged on the ship that I would be uh, able to assist with, or could I escort them and not lose any time? Uh, it would. Um, if you don't want to make a roll, it's going to take time. If you do want to make a roll, then you guys can start fixing your ship here. Um, I'm fine with time at the moment. Okay, so... And... Raz, are you also going to be trying to repair the ship and using time instead of um, a roll? Does the um... card say... Oh yeah, the, the heads and tails one is just the next roll. Oh. I'm just gonna yeah. take a brief moment to Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um please, please for the love of God. Yeah, thank God. So now you guys can make rolls normally. Huh. <laughs> Except okay. for twenty is a failure, one is a success. Still that. Uh oh, you healing broke. your stuff up right there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Does everyone get that or just the... Just uh, just one shot to... Like, Lore had a stim pack. Did we want to do the mission or do we want to fix our ship? Um, I'm Oops. glad to taking time because also if we don't complete this mission, they're still going to want us to come back. Yeah, I'm going to That's escort okay. the otter and, this, and the moth. And I will also escort. We'll bring the, you know. Oh, so you guys are just leaving with the ship. I see how it is. She, she scoffs I... and just goes to, do, goes to repairing. I have no <laughs> skills to help repair the ship. Likewise. Kay is going to help on the ship and do his stuff on You're these two ships. You're not fixing. Uh, we do, for, I think first thing we should do is like load the mech into our ship. Leo, I thought you were on the sub. We load the mech into the ship, or do we bring it with us for safety? That's true. Anybody that's in the chat is part of the mission, so Leo is technically Could on it? the airship. Oh, Could okay. you escort the otter and the moth with the mech? Yes. Then never Let's mind. do it. Let's go adventuring. If, they, if everybody else can, can work on the ship. Right, I'm so, going with the mech. So Lore's in the mech, which is hilarious. Um, <laughs> Joust, I imagine you are also going with the large group of them. I suppose I should. 
KM and LNP. Listen well. Familiarize yourself with that vessel. You'll find yourself there in chains soon enough. Like, L, L takes his toothpick out of his mouth and he's like, You said it before, though. Also, who's I don't our buddy? Think What's the best thing to say to the people helping repair your ship? Yeah, what if they put an uh, EMP on there? Don't give them a Now, party. Onward. Lead the way. I'm going to be side-eyeing Joust the whole entire time. So, let's just... so who's staying with the ship? I think the everybody crew. just... Oh, yeah, well, they left the clue if, there. If every, you... Oh, well, yep. if everyone's going, then I'll stay behind. You want to stay behind? Yeah, what? if if nothing what? else, to watch over the ship. We literally what? have the entire chat. Yeah, I, uh, I won't do anything to the ship. Okay, well, of... it's not you I'm worried about. It's the two knuckleheads over there. Oh, you worried what about K and L? I got you. All right, so here we Lurid. go. They seem chill. You know, aside from ripping a hole in the magic space vines. Yeah. Well, they're amazing. Well, Lurid, you gotta realize that the entire chat is on the ship. Okay. So we're we're fine to go adventuring. That's fine. But I do want to talk to Kane. Okay, that's fine. So... Once the mice are open. So you do discover like so here's like a bit of the runes and it is destroyed um like everything looks really messed up you can see in the stones there appear to be large chunks just ripped off of these buildings before they like fell into decay like and again not a sign of water or any liquid at all. There are bones on the ground and like you can see Tincture getting very sad about it because they are definitely otter bones. It looks like mm, some of them have like scraps of clothing, but like a time period or anything like that would require a roll. Or like learning anything about it. I would like Conveniently to enough, one. your anthropologist is on this team. Conveniently enough. Love to hear it. Convenient. Also conveniently enough, with death sense. Well, if there are any, you know, spirits of the dead around. Oh, for sure. Um... Yeah, okay. Um if yeah, you want to spell for money... a... Oh god. Um Well, cuz I can do it for for zero, I can do it just to tell if there are any around and not like what position. Um but yeah. You like for zero, you can tell that there is at least one strong lingering spirit around. It's um further into the ruins. It's not on the page that we're looking at but you feel it calling from the blue light that you're heading towards. And, and, and also you feel all around you, like it's tragedy struck here. Like it's not just bones as you're like investigating. You see that a lot of these otters have been mummified. It's just all of their liquid was removed before they die, like as they die. Like they've been embalmed basically, but just bodies left around. They just kind of I mean, look like- you mean, Sorry, this is me gonna sound silly, but like specifically like embalmed, mummified, or just the exposure to very, very sudden, well, I assume sudden the way you're phrasing it, but like just can you actually prepare. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Be like it's actually prepared versus like naturally and or supernaturally oh. mummified. Right, uh, yeah, give me that 20 side and I can give you an answer for it. 15 is perfectly reasonable. Well, as we roll to 
15 of you. So, you see puncture wounds in their throats or like in their shoulders and like uh, like the top of their body that match up with the way that you've seen red caps attack in the path. Uh, Basically, every one of these otters was drained completely of blood by a red cap. Commander Joust, you think that this is terrible. Like, you've seen this a thousand times. This is why you do what you do. As long as all the entryways are locked up behind, like, their walls, the red caps can't get in. As I said, it's a matter of disrupting the fragile system. This is the end result. You've seen them yourselves. And you still look at me. I'm the villain. Typical. Typical. Maybe you should stop being such an asshole, then. <laughs> Your vitriol means nothing. Actions speak louder than words. I have been trying to protect all of this. You have done nothing but reckless action. Now, shall we proceed? Uh, Noel is very sad, but you notice um, Cree is like taking notes of absolutely everything, sketching these, like sketching the corpses, just doing full on there. There's writing on the walls, but you're not like she's doing. Cree is doing like the charcoal pressing of it as much as um, Cree can while you're looking around. It might be important to note that you have not seen any red caps. This is still so. I'm glad we brought the mech. The, the mech is just loud and fucking stompy and just amazing though. I'll, I'll give you a picture of it um, at some point because they do have it in the book. All right, so back to the ship. You guys aren't there. Um, Kay walks over uh, to you guys' ship and just like, so, this is a weird looking one. How are you, little moth friend? You little banged up? You alright? Uh, you just came out of nowhere. We do that. We do that. But, like, you know, it's what happens. You, you look a little... Alright, pardon the phrase, a little piratey yourself. Look at that snazzy outfit you got. Uh, I saw that fish woman, she's rocking a fucking classic hat. You that even was got a my guy next, with an eye patch. That was my next question, is if you were pirates. Ah, uh, pirates is... It's a little too narrow for us. We're... And you, you hear um, LP in the back just shout. Like, we're entrepreneurs. You know... Like, we find stuff around the world, and, like, they don't want it. Sometimes it's not even good for them to have, you know. So we take it, and we sell it to people that can handle it. And it's just, like, a snazzy ship like this, like, like walking around, like, flicks the wheel a little bit, and, it's like, looks like you guys might be able to afford some of this. I, uh, I look between... Is this K or M? Uh, K is um uh, the uh L L is the one talking right now. L is the one talking. I say, I look between L, um, my ship, his ship, uh, Starlight ship. And I say we should we should steal from his ship and then arrest him when he comes back. It's like oh, K is like oh, you're a devious one. Like, I wasn't expecting that from such a, I mean, small and adorable fellow as yourself. <laughs> Smile. Alright, alright. Like, there's bound to be some security on that ship, though. Hmm. True. I like your style. 
Like, maybe. maybe you know another way in? You have been working on his engines, haven't you? We could sabotage those engines. He couldn't chase after us. But he he knows where you live, though. It's just that way, right? And he points the, the way you guys came. It's like, I, I understand that Starlight already doesn't like you, but that's a... That's an enemy you might not want, unless... Unless, of course, you do. You seem to be doing well. It's like, um, Al just like does the whole like hands, both hands on the middle of his back, stretching back. Yeah, we do all right. I did capture one of our friends a while back, though. Haven't found him. We thought maybe he'd be on this ship, but he's not. I checked the dossier. Have you? And this wild question. Have you ever seen a frog with, like, a penchant for explosives? Yes. Ah, oh, you seen Tracksuit? Where? Is that his name? Mm, I did not see him myself. I read about him. Ah, shit. Like, he was alive last time you saw him, though. Like, good? I did not see him. Well, okay. The report then. The report. Little uh, little fucking moth. Can I use some kind of knowledge check to know if I would know that? Oh shit, yeah, go ahead and roll me a twenty sider. I and I figure you read the report and they would report whether or not he died. He he definitely ended alive. He ended that alive. But mm, top I, I I think I think maybe. Yes. Yeah. So, like, the report, like, okay, she's like, all right. And it's just like, you see Ellen, oh. Um, uh, the only thing that's reversed is ones and twenties, not the rest of the numbers. Okay. Um, so, I say to L, so how do we both get out of this? Here's what I'm thinking. You want mm-hmm. something from this ship? We grab one of these engines. He won't notice. Like, they're all redundant. Redundant systems. He won't know. He'll think it fell off on the ship. Now, scratch my back. I'll scratch yours. It's just like... We've got a bit of a... Stockpile. We need to unload. And we're looking for a safe place to unload said stockpile. Now, would... I don't know, all your fancy uniforms, your matching emblems, and he, like, like, looks over the crew. Large crew here. I'm thinking maybe set up a shop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We, we welcome any uh, chance at acquisition. We get you the means of, you know, maybe traveling a little better, a little safer, you know, a little bit, like, give you a little bit more... Z- I was going to say zhuzh, but I meant a little bit more juice. And you let us open up a shop at maybe your home base. You come in once in a while, sell our stuff. It's not going to be like, you know, uh, you don't have any qualms about... Hey, of course you don't. You want to steal from this guy. You guys are good with like some maybe some ill-gotten goods, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sounds good to us. So there we go. If, um, L puts his hand out. It's just like an LP. Fatna Stein Plus. And it'll shake. Shake. And then we're going to go. And then immediately you just start see. It's so much like, like, um, jet car, like jacking a car up and stealing its wheels. Mm-hmm. It's basically exactly what it looks like they're doing to the ship. It's like, it's gonna work, don't worry, he'll be fine. He'll be fine, our word is our bond. You gotta keep your word. Mm-hmm. He's uh, following their lead, taking, just learning what he can about space mechanicry, me- 
Uh, give me a give me a twenty sider and like count it as the next rank up because the science thing's still up. <coughs> so yeah, it's a it is a triumph then. Um, yeah, you're learning a lot from this. Cool. Hey, maybe I can uh, maybe I'll be able to help install this thing on our ship then. Oh, they'll they'll help you install it for sure too. Cool. Cool. You don't know you're getting robbed right now, Joust, but you're getting robbed right now. <laughs> all right, so you all show up to a literal anvil. Like this place is this place is the coldest part of this, and this feels like this is where the ghost won. Um, lore. Like this is where the spirit energy was, and it's a hundred percent coming from that anvil and that hammer on the ground. And Noel, I not Noel. Tincture is in shock. She's just staring at it. It's like the most beautiful thing she's ever seen. Um, Joust, you recognize this as an item that is like a relic that, in the wrong hands, could be incredibly dangerous. You have entire dossiers on this. Everyone, Dar- I think we should approach approach with caution. Raz just leans towards Tincture and just like, so what? What? What is that? It's this. It is the literal. It's what this planet is named after. It's this. I think, based off of the sketchings that Kree has been doing, this is where we came from. The otters, all of us, and this was our forge. Like it was said that it could craft gateways to other dimensions, and like they built ships to sail the the beyond. Like what is in the magazine that the paper that was released is known as the Onion Verse. If I recall, <laughs> then it's safe keep should be the utmost priority. Uh, Raz is going to look at the books, see if any of them are still intact. Um, the books on the ground are. Uh, how much would Raz know? Can you give me a 20 cider? Tough choice. Okay, would you like? Here's your tough choice. You, when you're looking for them, you will find one of them in good condition, but you will destroy all the rest. Or would you like to just not touch them? And they'll all, they'll all be in a, a language that nobody here can read that you'll have to study later? Or would you like information right now, but destroy all of the other books? That is your I would like the study one. Study them later? Okay. So all of these pages are super decrepit. Decrepit? Decrepit. One of those is the word. Close enough. There we go, thank you. And, but. Decrepit. So, um, the dossier that the Starlight, uh, the Starlight Foundation has, or organization has about this item, <clears throat> is it does have, it's a pure, it's not even silver, it is like the concept of silver, is what the hammer and this forge are made of. Anything crafted on this has the same magical ability that silver does in this universe so if you take just a normal iron sword and you like and take normal piece of iron and craft like a sword out of it on this you will make a weapon that can cut through reality if you knew how if you know how to use it it's incredibly dangerous you can build a ship that can fly through the same way as your ship but you can make it out of anything as long as it was made 
on this forge. Like, and like you do see, oh, well, I'm just gonna leave it at that. That is what you know about this. It is incredibly dangerous. I need to spend a point for the death sense to know for sure that this is where the spirit was. Or I could use commune dead. Yeah, if you spend an AP, I can give you like I'll put I'll show you the spirit. Yeah, so I'll use one AP for the death sense just to. Um, you I'm see... gonna go with the second one, the extend your vision. Because fairly, fairly sure. Okay, to extend your extend your yeah, vision. Yeah, extend your vision, allowing you to see spirit creatures who are invisible. This effect lasts until you leave the area. You see the ghost of an otter, like falling back, like ru running around, and then just you see it get lifted off the ground, and like you see its body slowly like getting like pulled and pulled and pulled as it like hits. Like, it swings this hammer as hard as it can. Like you can't see what's grabbing it, but you see its ghost swing this hammer and collide with something. And then, like, the hammer falls. And you can see, like, the ghostly hammer falls exactly where the hammer is laying. And then, like, the ghost um, vanishes. But it just then it starts over and keeps replaying over and over. You just keep seeing that image of this, like, wizened blacksmith otter getting yanked into the sky and having his blood drained out of him but smacking something with the hammer that is like the image that you see um also Vatna can you roll me a 20 sider real quick just sure. To see, just to see how well you guys are doing at fucking like robbing this ship. Yep. Uh, see how this goes. That's a one. Oh shit! Nailed Four it. minutes left. Uh, Joust. All right. You are uh, gonna rob. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a card. Oh, okay. Because. That's like <laughs> disaster. That a disaster. Wait. Nice disaster on legs. Just like. Yeah. Your ship explodes and explodes both the other ships. <laughs> My poor twenty is wasted. Okay. Um. That yeah, yeah. Okay. That triumph turns it into a triumph. Uh, you got you got more engines than you want than you needed. Um. With You'll with that. Notice. With that, can we like make it look like there's still a positive readout on whatever engine display is in his cockpit? Oh, absolutely. You guys did such a good job. He has no idea. We have more engines than we know what to do with. <laughs> right? This all this the engines. Engine is gonna be back. It's gonna be fascinating. It's free real estate. It's it free real estate. It's basically <laughs> it's <laughs> So what would you guys like to do? You see this incredibly dangerous ancient relic in front of you. Also, there is a tree here. It's withered and dying. Like it's withered and looks like it's dead. Um I'm gonna see if I can get cause, uh, if I can get have any kind of conversation with the ghost using commune dead. Uh, it its last moments were too traumatic. I won't make too it traumatic to get anything. Okay. I'm also this was like hooks. using the thing. It was clearly like centuries ago, like centuries upon centuries ago. But you guys can't collect the books up, like because party in. <laughs> You just can't, you can't try to read any of them right now. Nope. The safekeeping of this object is our utmost priority as of right now. I will admit, I know the exact boundary of my physical and mental ability, and this greatly exceeds them. One of you must be the one. Figure that's why there's books for it, right? The but you have time you see... to read all of them right now. Well, of course not. 
if you wanted, you could um, use the mech to lift this um, anvil up and carry it back to the ship. Yeah, I that just, was going to be my question. It's like I will give you the oh. warning that while carrying this, the mech is not going to be able to do anything else. But it can carry. It can carry. No worry. I will give my life. Lay it down absolutely to make sure this system is upheld. Well, I'm pretty sure our job is to keep this thing safe, right? Indeed. Now, not not talking to you. It's talking to my crew. Thank you. That uh, is uh, hilarious. A uh, high-powered uh, magnet. Uh, but once the cop is right. Huh. I guess a broke clock is. Is right twice a day. I am well within earshot, thank you. I know. <laughs> Just start walking away. <laughs> Alright, um, Lore, Leo has, while you're back at the ship, um, well, before you took off, Leo apparently attached a high powered magnet to the back <laughs> of your Mac, the XO. Perfect. So, you can now carry this anvil like it's a backpack, and you now have your hands free to do other mech things on the walk back. Oh, we're taking the anvil. Yes, we're don't, taking the anvil. Don't forget the hammer. That might be. No, oh, we can't forget the hammer. Right. So we need a second magnet. Well, I mean, the the mech could right. also pick I, up the, ha I can take the, the hammer, hammer, or somebody else could pick up the hammer. One of you must decide who will carry the hammer. I will run defense. Oh, good news. You're all stupid oh, for that. Also, as a note, at this point, since we're picking up... Toast! Oh, oh no. Why would now you do you this to us? Minus to any science oh. rolls for the next hour. Hopefully uh, we got what we needed. <laughs> uh, oh. What about the positive one? How long does that one last? That one's over. Just ended. Oh. Also, 20s are 20s now. Oh, also, yeah. at this point, since we are picking up... Yeah. What we grabbing? Oh, good. Okay, since we're picking up the incredibly dangerous artifacts, I'm going to blow one more AP on uh, Prey Sense. Sorry, I, I was going to blow uh, one more AP on uh, prey sets. Yep. Cool. Cool. Alright, so... Upon pick... Who picked up the hammer? I just need to know that one. Is it... Is the mech carrying both the hammer and the anvil? Yes. Okay. So... Uh, unless someone else actually wants to carry the hammer. I'm carrying all the books, so I can't. So upon picking up the hammer, um, it when you lift it off the ground, in like I've been, I've told you that it's fucking freezing cold here. It's obviously been hundreds of years since this went down. Uh, one drop of blood falls off it, and like splashes on the ground, and. Um, Nicole, your hackles go way up. Like, you, something is watching you. We have a problem. Just sigh. What is it? Put the books down. Look around. All right, some... All right. Yeah, we have a problem. Something is here. I don't know. Something is watching us. Keep an eye out. Close ranks, everyone. Keep your eyes peeled. Hey, are you all just gonna like hunker down here, or are you gonna head back? Try to head back to your ships. Best option would be to try to head back to the ship. Stay here, and something is watching and has taken interest in us. We found the watching. Just 
Sept Sept comes across over the um over your intercoms on your little like you know your little like starship things that we said, and he just like yells that something is on its way, and it is like this. You see the ground start shaking, and what this creature looks like. And like I'm just gonna use the red cap art because I don't have another way of doing it. Is it looks like a centipede made out of red cap, but it's sheer bone white. Like you can see very few veins of red going like going through it. Like, you have skeleton red cap lippy. Not uh, lippy. It, it, it's, it's as far as I know, it's not lippy. If that thing gets blood, yeah, he's not wrong. If this thing gets blood, it is like it is fucking over for you guys. Uh, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be right here. It's not right on you. Um, let's go to to another screen. So you guys are walking back through here. It is. If you guys ever seen that fucking really terrifying picture of that baby doll that a bunch that somebody put a whole bunch of bodies on, yeah, and then that that is what this thing looks like. It is a stack upon a stack upon a stack of super pale, like obviously has not had blood in a long time, but at one point in time had so much blood that it could get to this size. They all just all the red caps that ate this planet fused together. This has gone out to like all channels, like all ship channels. Yeah, like Sept is like warned everybody about it. Okay, I drop what I'm doing and begin preparing uh, uh, like the ship's weapons and ask L to do the same for the situation. L is just like yep 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 yep, and like jumps back in the um like into the ship, making the testing everything. K hops into the pilot seat. And it's just like now it's a matter of are you guys gonna run or are you guys try to gonna try to fight this? It's it's a big boy. I'm just gonna let you guys know that. We need to leave now. Leaving seems like a great idea. But is, is are the ships ready? Like our yeah. two ships at least? Yeah. I, I, you guys, you made all the ships. They, they've yeah. been gone probably like most of the day. Okay. So uh, yeah. Uh, in addition to weapons, just get the ship ready to fly. All right. Um, this is going to be a navigation check from everybody. Um, I'll do it for. Yep, time to go. Let me do. Um, do you guys want to try? Uh, this is going to be a pilot piloting situation, or. Let me, actually, let me roll a d20. Let me just see how things are going. Oh, things went very well for the the weird red cap thing. Oh. Uh, I was hoping that was for us. So, Raz, as you're running, like the red cap swipes out and doesn't doesn't like cut you, but does knock you down. Oh yeah, okay. Sweet. So whatever you guys do on the ship is going to be twice as effective. So oh, once cool. you get to the ship, everything will be twice as effective. And that's for that red cap. Oh, make it a what? All right. All right. So Raz, what does it what does it look like that it does a sweep and goes for your leg, but you manage to dodge and counterattack? Like, what does that look like? Oh, I actually I have a perfect ex- ex- expression or uh, like description of this. So he, he like swipes for my legs and I just barely jump above it and I just heal refresh and my magic play comes to my hand and I immediately just stab it in its hand. Quite excellent. Like, um, like it's, it's right there, but like its hand, it's like pinned out and you, again, no blood, like a tiniest trickle of blood comes out of it. And just it seeing that tiny trickle of blood, it roars about it. And again, the red caps do not roar in a sound. They roar in a feeling. Like you all just are feeling this roar happening. Um, do I have a thing to actually keep him pinned down? I'm not sure. Do you? I'm looking.
No hugs. Uh... It just wanted hugs, turns out. No! No hugs! Not for that! God damn it. I should have had the PDF ready, because I have three cards from different classes. Fuck. Um... I don't think I do. Right. Um, it is still, if anybody wants to try to take an attack on it, you take any of you guys attack on this thing, it, like, if your attack fails, it is going to get a hit on you. That is just fair warning. I said we needed to move. Now, collect yourselves and get moving. Joust, like, squares up at this point. He did say he was going to put his life on the line, so I suggest we get the fuck moving. Batna will come over the radio. Uh, we have ships ready. Uh, make haste. I just hope you learn something from this. Nope, not at all. So, you guys just hustling? Cause... Yeah, we're booking it. Yeah. All right. Hustling. This is going to be the Red Caps attack on joust as like he puts himself between yeah that's what this roll right here is it is an 11 and it succeeds at it so just playing gets... a card oh. makes it a 20 kills him immediately ah, <laughs> i am not cool like that that's not it what is the fucking tough choice now called? oh now it's a tough choice okay so joust here's your tough choice you're about to get hit by this um by this massively overpowered red cap thing you can block it and lose you're gonna lose one of your bug arms if you block it but um you are able then to like it will go after your arm to suck the blood out of your arm so you can make an escape wait Lurk, why do you betray? Why do you? I thought it's its tough choice. Yeah, that that it's its tough choice is going to be. It can either take off his arm and be distracted, or it's gonna like. Hmm. Because it's not gonna get everything it wants. Hmm. No. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I have dealt with enough of you. None of your kind scares me anymore. Granted, you look a little tougher than the others. But, that said, on guard! There it is. So he would take the hit. That. Yeah, yeah, totally. Like, um, so you take the hit, it takes your arm off. Your arm is now, like, away. <laughs> I just hope you're moving! I too hope you're moving. I am. Right, so you, my little legs will carry me. So you guys all do get back to your ships. Like, um... And they are ready to go, especially right. with the card Leo. Like, yes, indeed. Uh, so we're going to need a navigation check from Nicole. And... Yeah. Um, yeah. so... Go ahead. Success. Uh, All right. I, yeah, so it's going to be great. Um, what were you going to say real quick, Floor? Sorry, I'm having one of those one of those player knowledge versus character knowledge dilemmas of I don't want to be an ass. Oh, it's fine. Whichever. Like, uh, you know, do we, do we want to leave? Did, did they leave enough for Joust's ship to be functional and him to leave? His yes. ship is functional. He is not back there. He's still, like, standing, like, squaring off against the... Oh, he's still squaring off against the red cap. That... You guys 
got like you did succeed and you get double effectiveness of your ship you guys could just swing by and help him out yeah can, uh, yeah can we uh shoot from the air absolutely uh Rocking. I'll try and I'll try and uh, find the best firing solution for the ship and uh, let the crew do their thing. Uh, kind of yeah, secured let's a it. battering ram to the front of the ship. Or kind of has a battering ram ready to go for the front of the ship. Um. Mm -hmm. Is the double effectiveness in the storyline wise like because you did attach the um? You guys managed to attach the engines so quickly that, like, you have them on the ship right now. Also, Rari's, like, smiting it. Everybody, Everybody's just firing at this thing from the thing. All right, um... Yep. Um, sorry, what was the question about the engines? So, like, the double effect, the double duty, like, everybody doing more ship, is that because you instantly upgraded the ship? Oh, like, you right. figured also... it out. Oh, go ahead. Boy, howdy, that commander just is so striking and handsome. <laughs> uh, sorry, I was going to say there, as we're getting close and uh, going after the red cap, I'm... Uh... This message brought to you by Bobbert's Casino and Spa. We now have the best mud in the entire Onionverse. Yeah, uh, anyway. I was going to be using the uh, the lyric ornament to send him a whisper. Absolutely. Commander, you, you get... You're going to want to duck very soon. What? what? Where's that voice? <sighs> Love it. Love it so much. <laughs> give, give yourself an AP, please. We felt one of your AP. Nicole. Oh, um, alright, so who wants to roll this hit, the battering ram hit? Okay. And so, like, the 12 took off, and you guys are good. You guys could have left with that 12, but now you're turning around for an attack. So, like, Krari is fucking just smiting off the side of the the blank thing I kind of just affixed the um I don't know what this battering ram looks like but it's got to be gnarly as shit is it just part of the other ship it's probably oh, like it's look. wingtip or something oh the extra engines we stole <laughs> no but I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. no, probably just like a snipe. several bulkheads fused together because it's a superior metal I don't know <laughs> The mech can also attack, but it does it does cost a I mean, decent amount of AP to do it. Yeah, it costs AP and also like can I attack with a single hand? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just to double check. But also because I have the snipe cards. Oh, okay, yeah. You can definitely snipe. Oh. Them. We'll we'll just snipe we'll just say that you snipe from the fucking thing. Free missile. Is it dead yet? Not yet. Um it no, this thing had, had two snipes and a smite. Does the battery amp do anything? Or is that what we're uh, doing? We, I'm waiting on the uh, attack roll for that. Um, that was a call, wasn't it? Uh, Nika, can you roll a? I, I'll roll the I'll roll the twenty sider for Akana. Uh, someone else wants to do that roll. Go ahead. All right. So Akana's death hand. Oof. All right. I'll I'll do the battering ram. 17. Success. Nika, Nika, roll, you should roll that. It is tradition that Nika rolls for the other, for characters. Larry, what are you doing? That's for the battering ram. Okay. I feel... You wanted to lower the battering ram at roll? Oh no, that was, that was from for, forever ago. But, yeah, that was the repeat. Oh, yeah, no, I, didn't, I haven't played that in those a while. Those cards take forever. It's wild. Um, okay, so Akana, your tough choice is the recall 
the recoil from your death hand will like Can I um, play a card. Oh, absolutely. It is technically better. Re-roll that. Weird. Oh, we roll it, Nika, one more time on that. We're gonna try it. I'm trying. Maybe. Twelve is success, so now that Bop. And then the ship hits it and do we get that really good moment of somebody reaching over the the side of the ship while everybody's firing to grab onto Commander Joust? I'll yeah. do it with the free mech arm. That seems the least likely to... This isn't a roll. This is just like... Because it would have been a roll, except for Commander Joust was alerted that this was going to happen. And also, I think the mech arm has more reach. Probably. Probably. It is a mech. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to go with a mech arm that's not holding the hammer. All right, is the so, thing dead yet? Yeah, it's it's like, um... It might not be dead, but it's like... It's trying to run away. Uh, let's see. Let me add up all this damage. Because this thing was not supposed to be fought. <laughs> uh, go not on two. this scale. Yeah, not on this scale. Two smites. Um, Another snipe. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, you guys. That's it. That's yeah, that last... Dead. Fuck yeah! Did you... <laughs> I assume that you did the snipe from. Uh, I assume that you did the snipe from like the cannon of the ship. Yeah, sure. Just like, boom, and to like put it in the back of this like red cap's head. Yeah. Smash to the ruins. Smash into this thing. Grab the commander Joust. Fly off, and then just pelt this thing from the air. I'd love it. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a good one. That's all just a solid job. You fools! I told you to leave. That's we did said. leave. Thank you. Didn't what are your names? Come back. What are your names? Lieutenant Fatness died. Plus. Well met. Give, uh, I will give our salute. You'll be granted safe passage through this area for as long as you'd need. But after that, once your business is done, you've proven yourselves capable. We will meet again as authority dictates. Uh, uh, heading towards his ship to drop him off um and i'll say we may know of others who can mend the hole that was created with your passage thank you i'm relieved to know that there's still hope for this universe yet now safe travel we'll fly off all right yeah, so you guys all climb it. Like, everybody gets into their own ships. The um, the jewel is gonna follow you back to um, to the silver thimble. You guys, the city, and let's give it to these guys because they're not there anymore. You lost, you lost ten good pill bugs. I need you to know that. So yeah, you guys are going back, and the starship, well, the starlight ship just leaves out the hole that, um, can somebody give me a science roll? It's going to be one less effective, but I need a science roll if you guys want to try to figure out how to fix this rift that you caused, that they caused. You guys didn't cause it. Who would like to make that roll? I've been rolling a lot. I can. If no one else wants to. Do it. 16 is a perfectly serviceable roll. Um, so you've cool. located it. You know the amount that it will take. Um, who all is in the sh ship right now? Uh, you got some navigators. 
Okay. Shoot! Uh, like, do we have spare sails and enough that, like, it might work as, like, a reality patch? You know, I... I think that it... Um... So, the number of people who would like to help, if you could put a, like, one of these moths in the chat and just let me know that you are helping. We will try to, like, use Vetna's, like, extra sails to fix it. Kana's helping. Sept is helping. You guys, yeah, you players can do it too. All right. We can? Yeah. I, of course, we'll be helping. Um, yeah, 10, 10 was the number I wanted to reach with that, so, um, so, go ahead and, uh, ooh, we got more than 10, so I think we're at 12, maybe 13, um, yeah, 13 now, so go ahead and roll me a 20-sider, you will not, you cannot get less than a 10 on this one, anything, whatever you get, I'm gonna add 13 to, 14, we'll add 14 to, so as long as you get a 4, it counts as a 20 and you've perfectly fixed it. All right. All right. As long as you get a six. Oh, seven. That was very close to like. You guys patch this up. Um, it doesn't do much for the fact that there are more red caps that fell from the sky above the city. But do we have anybody from security in chat right now? I don't think we do. <laughs> <laughs> Training red caps now. <laughs> this is the worst nightmare. Mm. Hey, Clackles, you haven't rolled that many times. Can you roll the um your otter guards deal with these red caps? They do not. This is why I don't roll. <laughs> That's why I built the character the way I did. Just wanted to, I just wanted to see it. <laughs> I needed to know. So, um, the Silver Thimble has a bit of a red cap problem. <laughs> oh, let's. We just got this thing. I just. Uh, so here's the I Silver. I would like to play. Oh, go ahead. You got a card. I was like, just, you know, no, 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 no. Did you just lower it to a one? Did you just lower it to a one and make it so much worse? No. I don't. No. All right, so. I do not, I do not want to make the, it worse. Thank you, otters, Laura, for that. All the otters that have been transfixed by the fact that they've been looking into their ancestral home. Like, they're all, like, super thrilled that, like, that their leader, Tincture, went up there, and it's just like, oh my god. All of a sudden, they just see it start raining red caps, and they all just start pulling out their guns and just skeet shooting red caps <laughs> out of the sky. <laughs> I kind of want to know what happened What it happened to happens. We would have had a different game. <laughs> I'm sure. Thank you, Lore, because I was worried, too. No, 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 no. Uh, it's just okay. Um, so we get back. The, so the, card um, the first time there was like three seconds left on the timer, just like no, no, no. So we are yeah, now that back. That could have been really bad. It could have been really bad. Like I was, I'm just gonna tell you, I was gonna make this a fucking kaiju again. There was a big red cap that fell through. I wanted to use red caps last, but unless, but I wanted to start the game tying it together. Season one, season two, red cap situation. All right, so you get back and your ship comes through, and there's just like a harumph of cheers, like everybody's super thrilled. And then the jewel comes through, and it's a lot of confusion. Like what's happening? And uh, the jewel lands in the middle of the like. Like above, it lands above the diving bell, just recognizing the sweetest bar possible. Um, I wonder if I Go could ahead. retcon something. Yeah, absolutely. What do you need to retcon? Um, have like a uh, like a signal system in place for like set like a green flag at the front of the ship um, to indicate mission success, and then like have 
theme music play from the dock. Oh, sweet. <laughs> it's just like a marching band situation, like fucking try. It's been about like two days since you guys left. Awesome. So uh, like... our victory music plays. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out what that victory music sounds like. But um, L and K like set up their shop. Like at, in front of the diving bell, they're just like, "No, don't rush us! Don't rush us! We'll get this set, shop set up, and then we'll be ready to go." And what are we doing with? Are you giving that anvil to the otters? No, yes. Artists. Yes, in the agreements that I could study it. It came from their ancestors, the otters. But I want to research it. I am happy to let them have it. No strings attached. Because also, um, you know... Because uh, I, got, I, I got a different score. I got a mech. You did, you did in fact get a mech. I got a mech and uh, space engines. So. I call so, this an absolute win. Just let me research the end of it. Or uh, onion, onion verse engines, however. You... I, think, I like... think we're on good enough terms with the otters that they'd probably, maybe. I got back alive, no. so secondly, it's a win. Everyone's alive. I will ask if I can research it. <laughs> they, um, it's like once we get set up, we expect everyone to come visit. Like we are going to try, we are going to set it up in our home here, like. Like, not in the, the city, but they are going to go back to the the plains of Pastora. Not all of the otters. The otters that live here are going to live here. But they are going to set up, like, I don't want to use the word church, but it might be the closest word to it. Um, Church is fine. Season 2 finale. Destroying the otter church. Cult too far. <laughs> Like, yeah. Joust has like given his report, and I don't know what that report says, but nobody is, nobody's hunting you right now. Nice. Yet. L and K have like set up this shop, and here, let me give you a little peek at that. Oh boy, what is for? Uh, let me open up my... There's six. Little Shop of Horrors. Okay. So... Four is... And this is where Clackle's card, that, like, the Goggles card, comes in most handy. Because all you get is... L's description of these items. You don't get to know exactly what it does. Uh, that's fair. He, that's uh, L points at the stick that has a snake wrapped around it. It's like, it's a stick that becomes a snake. Shit's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, L. What about five? What is a coin? Is a coin? The coin is gives you random powers, but it's on a time limit, and I can't tell you which one to give you. Um, he does explain that um, it is 10 coins for any from 1 through 4. It is 20 coins for 5 and 6. They also sell card packs, like which will give you one random card for 10 um, from the tabletop pack for 10 gold. Everybody has at least 10 gold right now, I'm pretty sure. This one didn't net you guys any money. You could have sold the anvil to him if you wanted to. If you guys want to get rich. Do but there not. will be there will be more games down the line that will I, pay as you go. Okay. I just I just realized something. Yep. The the dress has like a leg cut out. Like yeah, you, one of those gonna like to, gonna have to talk to Canva about that. I got no control. 
<laughs> it just looks the, like one uh, of those JPEG dress up doll games. What is, what does he say about the dress? Yeah. The dress, um, it's got a lot of hidden pockets. Not my style, but still, could look good on somebody. Looks fat and up and down. It's just like might be you. <laughs> is it in my size? Oh, definitely. And, like these are not like the Mac. The Mac I did like that. The Mac was one of the reasons I was asking you guys your sizes are. Can I first try it on? Oh, absolutely. Go to a change room. <laughs> wow, this really does have a lot of pockets. Got so many pockets. It has more pockets than you feel like it should. Neat. Once you buy it, though, I will give you the full description of it. Like, but you have to, like... You said it's 20 gold coins? 20 gold coins. Sure, I'll buy it. All right, I'm going to drop it in the, um, it is the dress of many pockets. Um, this magic dress deceptively appears to have no pocket. In fact, it has many pockets. While wearing the dress, you may press an item into it that you wish to stash. A seam open, silently opens, creating a portal to a pocket-sized shadow plane. When the item you wish to pocket is to deposit, the seam closes, the seam reopens any time you wish to retrieve it. You may store up to 10 items in the dress, and the items do not count towards your inventory. If the dress is ripped, Whipped apart or destroyed, all items stored immediately fall out. That is, and I'm going to drop it in the meta channel. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect for a pirate. And everybody, I will put the um the image in the chat. You guys can buy too. things. It looks however you want that dress to look. It's a dress. It still remains a dress. Aww. That would be you so want to see Vatna in a dress? That would be so sad if Vatna had, like, dressed all of a sudden shatters. Eek! I, um... And that is going to be the end of the first game of season two. It's a successful mission. Um, we got to the moon much faster than I expected us to. Thanks that Gale spell. <laughs> we did it. Hey. Yeah, it was successful. Um, you guys have the books to research, and like I will yep. do um RP prompts in the Discord for like researching that book. Uh, those books. Also, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Um, I'd like to thank everybody that um, came to play. All four of you did amazing. It was a lot of fun. Um, also, Adrian, of course, thank you so much for like showing up and playing this. We also uh, still need to... oh, What are you I... talking about? That's a bot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, very good. Uh, very good uh, co-star. No, you guys did great. It was it was a lot of fun. Right, we've been over this. It's it's uh, always fun to play with you. Did we play before? I thought we were on one mission. I don't know, man. I like I like. Oh yeah, I, thanks I, thanks for I, being involved. I I feel like you'd remember just because like you know it it was probably like a massive headache. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. Asked, asked Adrian to play an antagonist because last time he was protagonist. And oh, honestly, the fact that you guys helped him was a lot different than how I thought that was going to go. Like, yeah, I thought you guys same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same here. Because because like, honestly, I was like, okay, so like the, the whole point where I'm like, you know, lay down your weapons, it was going to be that scene where literally I'd be like, you demonstrated honor. Now pick them back up and we'll work together kind of thing. Like... That was it. But it was funny that everyone was, like, really hesitant, which makes sense, because, you know, I was uh, the bad guy, quote-unquote. Well, the, the authority that wants us uh, imprisoned, at least. No, the, the, it's just that you guys were basically, like, trespassing in, like, a delicate kind of uh, potentially... Well, well yeah, yeah. It, it's <laughs> I, I don't know how much I can say, but, like... <laughs> say less. Things could have gone yeah. real, real bad real, real fast. Mm -hmm. 
No, I think it worked out wonderfully for us. Yeah, now you guys have access to the shop, which, again, I've been planning that shop for quite a while, but you could see how you might not have gotten the shop if you fucked this game up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was mentioned uh, before we went live. Yep. <laughs> that was... Yup, I got a mech! <laughs> oh, I'm upset. I put... But I think this is the perfect amount of, uh, like, oh shit, we are screwed, and ha ha, we win. Yeah, I put L and K's um, wanted posters in the the meta channel. If anybody wanted to see those, because I just thought it was stupid. And I was just making a lot of dumb things. By the way, L is my new favorite NPC. This hands down. Look at him. Look at that guy. Look He's at him. Cool. He's cool. He he knows how to uh, jack a ship. Yeah. It, I'll be honest. Like... It took me an hour to recognize the reference. Oh, the one that Jules reference. <laughs> yes. It's like ha The the third one is tracksuit, but he's um he wasn't in this game. He could have been in this game. Is the like the it thing, uh, like I said you'll see him before, eventually. you'll see him definitely eventually. Like I said before, that so early on, Lurid played the season one card, which makes something happen every game. If you play a season one card, depending on at which point in that game you play that card, something different will happen. He played it at the time that the red caps attack. If he had played it earlier, something different would have happened. If he had played it later tracksuit would have been activated he would have been on the enemy ship <laughs> but he wasn't that's gonna be the plan moving forward for the the season cards however once you use them they are gone I never because know. now they do something oh yeah we need to name the ship yeah what nika had some ideas i know but i don't know I'm on empty. I couldn't tell I you. I don't goddamn physically thing. have a season one card. Uh, were you physically present during the finale? Um. Oh well. What if? What if? Uh, what if? What about the onion peeler? The onion peeler is pretty funny. I um, I like that. I was thinking patchwork, but I like yours better. Patrick, Silver Otter. I was there during I was, the I was trying to read Akana's suggestion as an like, I like it as a name. Like, I thought that was like a kind of suggesting a name. And I'm like, I don't know how to pronounce that. And then they cracked it to the like it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's like, I'm stupid. Uh, this was a lot of fun. It, it actually went better than i expected here i i am thrilled on ha about how it turned out you guys you, got, you guys want a little bit of behind the dm screen real quick oh, oh yeah well just just between us girls um that moon wasn't there until nika told me that i should prepare for you guys being stupid <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. It was like the opposite, though. Like, he was planning oh, on you on you fucking it up, and I'm like, no, they're gonna fuck up fucking it up. So, like, you have to have <laughs> a contingency for them to do what you, like, the opposite of what you expect them to do. Like, so I literally, I literally it. just figured you guys would, like, run away and get sucked through another thing, because I have so many maps for this game. I have so many maps. There are so many other worlds you guys could have ended up at. I was just like, I have a system. I have, I'm going to roll a die to see which world they get to. Like, is they going to crash through the other side and like have this huge like police chase through fucking the onion verse and just like, they could end up here. They could end up here. They could end up here. It's like, there's no way, there's no way in hell they're actually going to go to the location they expect they're planning to go to. <laughs> And then, <laughs> and then, he did. you underestimate our stupidity. I had, I was just like, I'm not like, ah, I'm not gonna make maps for that. And then, like, the the great thing is, like, last week the um the game is aberrant labs. The uh, um goose 
said the sky otter like it was never yeah it wasn't i had i had not planned that at all and i was just like sky otter is kind of cool what do they call that like what do they call it the rock that sea otters but they just call them hammers or anvils so i was like sky otters anvils are really cool phrase let's see if i can do something with that and that's that's how we ended up with the game we ended up with today but we now have a shop again i will post this in the thing um i will restock the items pretty regularly and like thanks everybody in the chat for like the way you guys were playing it was great except using the fucking like that one card was really fun because like i didn't get to ambush you with the giant like centipede and you guys killed the damn thing you weren't supposed to kill yeah, the damn thing <laughs> like that thing was just supposed to get you off the moon like leave the moon alone <laughs> we'll be back <laughs> yeah there was a second ruin there yeah what was that about it's definitely Fuck up enough to, to get where you're intending to go and then annihilate the opposition <laughs> Yeah, you underestimate how violent this crew is. Sounds like sounds like a pirate's day to me. It was it was just a good game. I very much enjoyed it. I'm sorry that we like started a little late. Nika had a lot yeah, of work. No, everything and... kind of like fell apart on me. That's but everybody, look, it seems fine now. Can we take a second and really appreciate all of this artwork right here? That like, I look... absolutely love Rez. There's a lot of art. I love everyone. We all look great. Yeah, I'm I'm so happy with Nicole, especially when he's talking with all the little <laughs> tiny teeth. I want to do look at um, my little teeth. I have a hat. I'm gonna do a little hmm. bit of edit on him because I think I want his like fins to move in in speaking. That's something. Ooh, like, good call. An adjustment I want to make. I, I, get, I have little until, like, yeah. I have little star freckles when I talk. <laughs> And you know, someday I think I speak I'm... for yeah. Go I ahead. Speak for everyone here, when I say we would all die for Vatna. Yeah, no. Thank you so much. So would I. IRL. <laughs> I, I don't think that's going to be the issue. We're probably going to have to uh, kill for Vatna soon. <laughs> I didn't know Vatna was a fucking thief. Die, kill. I mean, either way, someone's dying for Vatna. I think we're good with that. And then, like, obviously, I. I think Commander Joust looks amazing, personally. Like, look at him. Look at the little pill bug guy. Look at the little pill bug Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah. I, I couldn't figure out what, what he was supposed to be. It's like, is he a robot of some sort? Or what? He's like a little, little pill bug bro inside of him. Yeah. Uh, he got very, like, Skeletor on me on accident. So, like, I tried to, like, adjust <laughs> That's perfect. No. That, but... no. No, 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 no. You embrace the Skeletor. So now, now we need to figure out what to do with all these engines. How many did we get? Like, you yeah, we, we need the got... of uh, what was acquired during this mission. Yeah, okay. Right, I, I, need, so... I need that list anyways because that's literally Raz's job. Think things that got done for art this is really good for art because mm -hmm. she like does all the fucking stuff. So what happened today is we had a giant rift opening, but then immediately sealed. Uh, not immediately, but you understand. I think um, there were a lot of pi you guys didn't see them, but inside all of those little ships, there was a little pill bug. Um, hold on, I could I could probably show it to you. All right, let's go to this map because they're all just floating in the space in space now, dead because <laughs> you all killed them, like the monsters you are. Here we are. Yeah. I made this. This was my. This is my token that I made for them. I don't see because... anything changing. Oh, you... sure. In just a second. That's. Oh, let me move this. Here we go. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> look at him. Look at him. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Yeah, that's what I agreed to. <laughs> I loved it. I thought it was so funny. <laughs> it's like. I told Adrian about like what his like underlings were going to be like, and he, so am I a pill bug too? I was like, I honestly don't know what he is. He's just like pill bug on walk. <laughs> Look at him. He's, He's great. Perfect. It's oh, just perfect. God. I love them so much. It it was so <laughs> stupid. It's absolutely a JoJo Sandal, one hundred percent. 
Yes. <laughs> oh god, could you imagine if you said Is that Joust Jojo stand? <laughs> no no Joust Jojo stand is just Oh uh, roly poly. Rolling in the I, deep. I've always called them pill bugs, by the way. So like the fact that like to find artwork of them, I had to type in roly poly made me angry. <laughs> right. Yeah, I know the feeling. Like, all right, just again, real talk, real talk, just between us, us girls. Um, did anybody else ever swallow one of those? No. No. Nope. I swallowed one. Of course you did. That doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> what Sounds else tame there? for all the stuff I've heard. Oh, what What else yeah. happened? All right. So like acquired, on the moon, acquired is the anvil and hammer given back to the nomads. I know, given back to the yeah. the otters, which is wild because Tincture was not supposed to be on that boat. And I'm so glad that you did the protection thing because Tincture and Kree only have 4 HP. Ooh, I had a, fe I had a feeling lost. they were less than, you know, our, our health. So. They, they, they can, uh, Build, build a crew for their any medical bills. So like it's wild. Like you, on Wait. they could have died. It was such a smart thing to put that on them. I was like, I was thinking about it. the second I saw that pride card. I was, oh fuck! <laughs> They're gonna kill that otter. Um, but Korean, you they acquired some. As of yet, undeciphered books. They're going to have to do some work to figure out what is on those books, and like to figure out the language of those books. Yeah, I'm sorry to get. I'm sorry to make a prompt right now for that. Um. Jagged Little Pill is a great name for that stand. Very nicely done. Yeah, that's a, that's a very good name. One does one's humble best. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. Just, you ought to know. <laughs> um, so that happened. I don't want to say, uh, I don't want to repeat the things that they saw. And just because like, I said it out loud once. Did people make a note of it? Is the mm. question. Is... Just make sure you uh, rewatch the VOD. That's what you're saying. Yes. I remember pretty much everything. I'll make some after notes. Um, uh, I do have a question about the books. Okay. Are they handwritten or are they actually like printed out? They are definitely handwritten. But they are handwritten in a language you don't understand. Yeah. And... I guess anybody, like if anybody had the swaddle card, they could have swaddled that thing and that would have been creative use I would have just assumed that like it was like the um you know the ATAT -AT scene or the mm -hmm. ADAT scene or whatever is it ADAT -AT or ATAT -AT? I don't know I have only said it, but I don't know anything about it ATAT -AT, all terrain armored transport okay thank you yeah cause -AT -AT. nobody says ATAT when they're talking about a four wheeler or like or but like ATS Nobody says ats to, right? They say ATST. Do they? I've never heard anybody say ATST. All right, that exactly. we're off into, we're off into Star Wars. Um. So uh, yeah, we have a game coming up this Sunday. This that game is going to be not out of this world. It's going to be specifically in Liminal, specifically in a place that we've never been in Liminal. That is Akana, Leo, Pim. And Edo. Enter. Enter. Sorry, how many engines did we get? Did I miss that? Oh, you got two functioning engines and scraps to make the um the battering ram which got destroyed. Roger. And a like, Mac apparently. So, and a Mac. Don't forget <laughs> Lore's Mac. Lore has a Mac. Which is incredibly powerful. And I was just like, I don't know, like, 
I don't want to just give it to you guys, but if somebody plays the card, each, so that's the way the, the magic item cards work. Each game also has its own magical item that will come at different parts, like not at different points, but like you play this card here, you get this item and then everybody can decide how like you divvy it up. Or if it's the person playing plays that card, then they get it. They get first dibs. Okay. They're not always going to be a mech, though. I'm just throwing that one out there. <laughs> Where everyone's like, I want a mech, too. Yeah, that mech's called the Exo. Um, its artwork is really silly. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. Which page is it on? I have, like, so many books right next to me because I was nervous. <laughs> it's a lot. I'm nervous. No, it's it's a lie. I don't get nervous and try to cancel games 15 minutes before we start ever. I promise. Ever. Ever. Not just not a thing that I do. Thing I hope. In the meanwhile, if you guys have notes for overlay stuff, uh, things that would be easier to see or read or make life easier on you in any capacity, please let me know. This was like the 1.0 version and like i'm i like it thematically but it's going to get more involved as we go so please give me feedback on that yes please thank you guys very much thank you yeah, very much you guys you. It was great i fucking it was amazing um great great opener great season all i i was like I, I thought that the other one was going to be the better season opener. Um, the sticking to liminal, exploring the the world. But I was just like, no, I want. I kind of want to start it off with it. So. I'm very much looking forward There's to it. There's no way they're getting to this moon. <laughs> no way they're getting to that moon. There's no way. No Beyond way they'd actually the go moon. to the moon. They're not going to go to the moon. I was like, that... Like, I don't have to worry about that anvil falling into the wrong hands because they're not going to ever see it and we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> now it's in our ends. You fool. Now it's in, and then it went into the otter's little paws with toe beans. Oh man, I bet they have you, the cutest toe beans. Yeah, you can't tell me they don't have toe beans. They have hand beans. It's weird. So more, really stuck. more map view. So I was, I've been going through um, basically every tabletop stream out there and noticing that they're almost always character focused and the character focus makes it more interesting because looking at the map is really fucking boring because like for the most part nothing's actually happening on the map so I wanted to like pull it down I can probably I think comfortably 50% larger without having to like redo everything but I can I can put like a little bit of an increase on that you know, it, it just occurs just now occurs to me that the the otters only asked us to take them to the moon. They didn't hire us or anything. They did not. They um you guys wanted to test out the ship and legend has it that there was like a moon up there. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey guys, we're going to the moon. Cool, sweet. Hey, we kinda wanna go to the moon. Alright, cool, sweet. Get in losers. <laughs> we want you guys to go to the moon and we're like, hey, why don't you come with us? Yeah, right? It's like, um, it got saved sideways, which is annoying to me, but, um, the picture is of the, what the EXO looks like is in the HTML met meta channel. Nope, it's not. I sent it to Nika. Never mind. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take a look at it and I'll let you guys know. I love these did wanted just, posters, though. Could you explain, like, just okay, tell them so, in detail what... Um... Mm. <laughs> Could you post turn it not like... sideways and then post it in meta for me? Oh no, I can't do that. Oh, um... okay. Well, give me. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do this. There you go. How, how's this looking for you? Like, how's this anyway, like? <laughs> you just see that? It's sideways. It's mech and sideways. Uh, 
Well, it takes a okay, I got it. Takes it was great playing with everybody. Purpose. Everybody was a lot of fun, and thanks for having me. Thank you for thanks having me. Thanks for being here. Seriously. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Great to have was another, like, last minute thing. Yeah, we're just glad we didn't again. just leave you to die. Yeah, now it can be a recurring <laughs> yeah. character. Right. I was nice. gonna kill him off. <laughs> yep. All right. Bye. Bye forever. Bye. Yeah, I posted it again. This time it might work. This time also go. the correct direction. Yeah. Orientation is everything. It is. Oh my god, look at the the one tiny little client. I like how fucking comfy it looks inside. What the hell? Yeah, it it is like a, I'd probably describe it as yeah, a steampunk uh, exo unit from Exo Squad. So much a steampunk uh, steampunk <sighs> exo unit from Exo Squad. I was like, oh man. Still super jealous about that. Like, this joke is good for two people and two people only. (laughs) (laughs) And it is fantastic. I I listened, because I had already planned that, like, I'd I'd been playing planning this game for a while. Like, I knew who Alan Kay were. I knew what their ship looked like. I knew, like, the magical item that was going to be, like, in it. And then I was just like, oh shit, Professor Wynn is playing this game. All right. (laughs) Somebody else that gets my Exo Squad reference. All right, uh, again, everybody, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for playing. Um, you guys all did great. This artwork looks amazing. Um, but yeah, also, do make more. Like, if you guys have more want to see something different. Yeah, please give us feedback. Please, please, please. Uh, are we going to get own, uh, copies of our own yeah, yeah. characters? Oh, yeah, she's going to put those in the meta channel. Yeah, I'm I'll absolutely sure. Like, as soon as we're done with stream here. Nice. And then we can see, like, more than just the, like, rib cage up. They're, like, yeah, from the, the hips up, or, like, just below Yeah, the they're bigger than they, they appear yeah. in this. Because in this one, you don't actually get to see all of that, and it's, like, cool cat's cradle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I still want to, like, work on that. Like, how the, the characters show up on screen. But this was the, like, quick rig version to make up for the fact that everything else broke. Oh, uh, you know what? I might as well play these now. Leo's gonna like reverse engineer <laughs> the mech, which is funny because uh, you, you can. Leo's Leo's going to get help from Raz because she wants her own as well. Getting yourself rich, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. You know, after she fucking deciphers these goddamn books, I will have the um item shop, the image, and like the quick descriptions up in the thing. I will um. It's probably not going to be after every game that I will put up items. But at least once a month, that shop will have something different. The Bobbert Casino shop will be opening as well after next week's game. That one's not like a surprise. I don't have to like sneak that one up for you. Um, like, but Bobbert stuff. And again, Professor Winter, that Bobbert thing, hysterical. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Loved it. Really hope you took that AP for it. Refill that one I, AP. Was, I did, and I'm was, going to ride that as long as I possibly can. Just amazing. <laughs> um. Okay, you played two of those, correct, Lord? Yes. Uh, so I got 220 credits, and then after the dress is 200. All right, so two... That's a lot. Like, I'm going to start putting things in that shop that cost 100, but I guarantee if I price something that high, it will be worth it. Like, just just saying. Um, Cool. But again, I have to pee really bad because that's what I do um, after the end of games. And I'm going to bounce. Thank you all so much. Thanks, everybody, in the chat for playing. Thank you all oh, so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you everyone who grabbed card packs and things like that. Hopefully you guys use the coupons. <laughs> please like put the coupons serious. though, please. Have you used the coupons? Uh, the current ones, whatever they are, the 30% off ones, I think they end tonight at midnight. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, I will see you guys later in the weeks. Uh, this weekend, this week, I think, is when we start playing Final Fantasy XIV on Wednesday. So for this Wednesday and the Wednesday after. Then Nightwish stuff on Thursdays, uh, sketch giveaways on the weekend, and uh, the next HTML game on Sunday. So, looking forward to all of those things. 
Thank you all so much for playing. Bye yep. forever. Bye forever. Now officially say I've played in one, one Bye more forever. HTML game than the Cursed Boy.